Hey there boys and girls, YouTube world. Today, me, myself, and I, Duff Dogs, back home running the shop. We got the uh, white, white, no, not white, it's blue. All the other ones are white. The blue 06 Ram and the 22 foot flatbed. We are going to the Jess Anderson Estate auction sale in beautiful Oguinden, Minnesota. Uh, they got a bunch of stuff on this auction. They had online bidding, and then there's it's live as well. There's a pretty nice like 71 2 Trans Am that was over like or Firebird that was over 20 grand, and a V8 swapped S10 four wheel drive extended cab Roadster pickup that was at like 1600 bucks. It actually looked really nice if there is such a thing. Uh, there's a 57 Chevy two-door pull. There's a lot of project cars. Those are the only two nice cars. Ooh, there's a 8.1 Sapow Sapowered, 8.1 Big Block Chevrolet powered Avalanche. Looked really clean. Uh, that was at like 3,900 bucks last I looked, so that's out of our price range. And not really an Avalanche guy. Do love 8.1s. Uh, keep an eye out for a two-wheel drive 8.1 donor because I'd like to swap something. Maybe the rollback, but anyway. Shut up, phone, it's Puddin'. He's bragging about his other dually that he just got crew cap after he sold me his. But anyway, 57 Chevy two-door post. Uh, there's like a 74 Bronco uh, full top. Uh, K5 Blazer, like a, I think it's like a 69 or 70, maybe it's 71 or two. Uh, there's a pair of 65 Tempests or Le Mans. One's a convertible, one's a hard top. Uh, there's a 32 Ford three window coupe fiberglass car kit car that was at like 3800 bucks uh, yeah a pile of snap-on tools and there's a bunch of stuff that wasn't part of the auction so that's kind of what I'm banking on and you know maybe if that 57 Chevy two-door post that thing was going pretty cheap the k5 blazer is at like 4400 bucks and it was it was a big project a lot of these cars were just in a million pieces and uh, so yeah we're pulling in the big city uh, Glendon now so we'll get parked and Show you what's going on. We interrupt your regular scheduled shenanigans to do a giveaway. That's right. Later on in this video, you'll find that I found 10 of these American shifter shift knobs. Plain black, kind of boring, but still pretty cool. Anyway, we'll take these things and uh, anybody who purchases a koozie, we got magnetic can koozies, the best can koozies. We got the dew, the low life, and the crown. And they're all magnetic if your car isn't full of Bondo. But anyway, 10 lucky people who purchased these things on the date listed are gonna get themselves an American Shifter Company shift knob. Because I don't need 10 of them. And uh, they got a hole right up here so you can hang it on the wall. I'll try to see if we can open these safely and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll sign them, Mordsky edition. Oh yeah, that'll be easy to open, look at that. Look at that, maybe we'll even put a little sticker in there or something. I don't know. You got that for your hand on your hot rod, and you got that for your hand for your sandwich. Right, Duff? Right. Now back to your regularly scheduled shenanigans. This is by McLaughlin Auctioneers, and how I found it was I was cruising Facebook Marketplace. Looks like they're getting started already. You better get a number. Rows of stuff. Oh, there's a 64 El Camino. Here's the Bronco. She's a plow truck. These things are all rusty. Plow trucks are even more rusty. It's been cut in the rear, which means it's been trimmed for, so the wheel wells match, which I don't mind, but just a quirk. 70, oh, door is uh, sagged out. No back seat, missing. It's got buckets in the front. V8 automatic though, so that's kind of neat. She's uh, real chewy. Rockers are almost non-existent. Remember, we are in Minnesota. I don't see the plow. Of course, four-wheel drive, all the Broncos were. She's uh, chewy. I think this thing was at almost 3,000 bucks before I got here. Looks like this is a Firebird chassis or Pontiac wheels. Yeah, that's definitely Firebird. Camaro donor, what's she got in it? 6X heads, so it must be Pontiac, I would imagine. Power steering, power brakes, discs too? Nope, drums. Looks like a bunch more cool stuff back there, 56 cab over, not on the auction. Some sheet metal, 
over here. 57 Chevy quarters and the door and some front fenders. Looks like some floor pans, more quarter panels, all kinds of quarter panels. 68.9 Chevelle. I think those are hard top. Try five two door doors. Looks like a Camaro Firebird front clip. Firebird or Camaro uh, quarter panel. I'm guessing Firebird, a lot of Pontiac stuff. Try five deck lids. I think a 58.9 Chevy pickup hood stack. A oh, 57 ones, they're all 57s. More 57 bumpers and fenders. Square body doors, 67 to 72 doors. I think that's Corvette stuff, independent rear. Oh man, they got a stack of stuff on pallets in here. More Corvette rears. New old stock square body tailgate, square body doors. Holy sheet metal. Must have worked at a body shop. I think that's an SS hood. Looks like that's an OBS after market hood. I'm assuming Pontiac on that. Looks like a vintage air box. Is the vintage air in there? Nope, looks like the factory stuff. GM of sorts. New rotors, new rack and pinions. There's a dual quad high rise and then just another dual quad. It says VET on it. Some center sections. Headers, ooh yay, headers. Always gotta have headers. Clutch pedal assembly, electric fans, convertible top bows. Look at all those Mustang two cross members. Coilovers, tubular control arms. Interesting. I'm guessing this is a Tri-5 bench seat, two door. It's pretty good property. Look like Tri-5 steering boxes, maybe a Tri-5 power steering setup. Mustang 2 spindles and coilovers and shocks. Aftermarket wire harness. Throttle cable, kick down something. So many brake rotors. It's a Y-end for a small block. 59 VET dual quad. Factory GM aluminum. P case posi. I can't count the teeth on there or I'm too lazy and in a hurry, but there's a wheel cap. Aluminum flywheel. I would assume small block or Pontiac. Torrance, California. I'm guessing that part number would tell us what it's for. A 2014. Bunch of tail panel louvers for some firebirds. All kinds of cool stuff. Oh man, I wonder if his mailbox is for sale. That's cool, all pinstriped up. 283 or a 327. We'll see if we're at a good swap meet or uh, sale. If anybody scratched the numbers off, don't no, they haven't? Guessing it's an early one. Yep, just got the front engine mounts, doesn't have the side mounts, so it might even be a 265. It's got an oil filter though, so it's not an early one. 2870, I believe that's a 327. Six hole rallies, ooh, white spokes and a Kreger. <sighs> and the worst wheels ever. The old Keystone Classics. Indie Profile Mickey Thompson 70s. Six lug GM wire wheels. Bunch of uh, turbo 350s. Two wheel drives, four wheel drives. I think that's a 400. Looks like those got TV cables, might be 700 R4. There's the Avalanche. I think they said it was a repairable, but 150,000 miles on it have been redone. Pretty cool with the oversized tires. It's got nice black leather interior. Black's kind of hard to find, and then I think only in the Avalanche is they put that bow tie in the headliner, or the headliner of the seat. Moonroof. I thought these things were so cool when they came out. I grew out of it quick. 34 Pontiac. Looks like somebody put a smooth firewall on it and was in the process of putting a ribbed roof on it. These Pontiac grills are just freaking cool. It was an eight cylinder car. Just sexy. I'm guessing somebody was in the process of street rodding it. Pile of parts inside. 
pretty solid car actually almost looks like it's chopped but I don't believe it is maybe no nope, that all looks factory unless some ah, somebody has been in there I think they just did a really nice job of it hard to say ah somebody's been in there grinding yeah she's been chopped they did a really good job of it though there's the 55 two-door post a little rotten down there like they all are looks like an aftermarket door floors look either really good original or have been replaced oh they've been replaced see how they just screwed them in over here and they don't even have it att attached but i mean that's a thousand dollar floor pan right there looks like a bunch of the trim is in there no seat I don't see any bumpers. Oh, there's the rear seat. She needs a little work, but good start. Uh, 28.9 Model A Sport Coupe project. Looks like they got some round back 37 to 41 spindles, four bars, disc brakes, a drop axle. Looks like a factory axle that they stretched, probably. Really solid. All the sheet metal on it's solid but sport coupes just don't uh, bring a ton of money looks like a gm like a s10 rear sorts got the pontiac wheels on the 57. this is like one of my favorite 57 color combos hard to beat no grill i don't think there's an engine or anything i think this one does have a title still got the drum brakes manual steering but overall pretty good start and here it is the custom s dime you've all been waiting for i think this is made out of wood and they just covered it with the vinyl four-wheel drive v8 was an extended cab there's a big old stereo back there aftermarket seats b&m shifter she's a durango model it's got some pretty old plates on it so she's been off the road since 08 16 years she's snug in there must have to put the fan up front headers of course that's the only way they fit i bet she rips harley davidson steering wheel cover 32 with three window got a mustang cross member in it looks like a dropped axle as well in drilled fiberglass there's the door skins there's an aftermarket grill shell and insert looks like some spindles and disc brakes in there fiberglass fenders for the rear there's the front looks like it's got a aftermarket nine inch with a four bar setup just kind of mocked in place country of origin mexico drilled for any pattern you want though it does have the door hinges and deck lid hinges in place looks like there's a pile of parts in there headlights power windows valve covers fuel tanks there air claw latches hidden hinges doesn't have the pop-out window or the cowl vent all right here's a calvinator refrigerator been all customized still runs cool little beer fridge i think that explains all the body panels and here is the big ticket item or what i would say automatic power windows it's got aftermarket original looking wheels sharp sharp car that one's already out of our price range but cool nonetheless i really like these early firebirds i think if i had to have a second gen f body it'd be one of them all right here's some of these military dodges four-wheel drives these are all at like 100 bucks or less pretty much at scrap unfortunately here's the 65 el camino she ain't bad i think there's a hui in that quarter but it comes with an extra quarter panel looks like a bumper is in there the rear bumper's off of it tailgate's got a whammy in it and there's that whammo i was talking about pretty rough quarter but good one to cut up white car red interior looks like somebody put a tilt column in it she's pretty gutted i don't think those are the right seats they are buckets though look like factory gm buckets but 
I don't think they're for this car. No motor, no tranny. I think it doesn't have a title though. Pretty good start. Here's the Blazer. Looks like she's got a three quarter ton front end. I don't know if it's a 60 or not. Just a pile of parts inside of this thing, which you need because these things are all so rusty. Full tops, these things bring real money. They're cool though. This one's actually pretty decent, straight, rust free. I did see the tailgate in another picture, it's here. Again, same colors at 57 or close, pretty cool. I like that color. Better than black in my opinion. Yeah, would be a good start. Here's one of the 65s. It's got a sunroof in it, but it comes with a spare top. It's got a GTO hood it looks like, but they said it's a Tempest or Le Mans. I don't know. Le Mans. Got the grab handle. Factory buckets. Automatic on the column car. Oh, I hate moonroofs, sunroofs, whatever, when they cut them in. Bad idea. Floors look really good in it though. No drivetrain. And then we got a convertible, the same thing. Boy, this car really ain't that bad. It's a shame that somebody started taking it apart. And there's the convertible. It does have the top, but no seats. Floors ain't bad for a convertible either. Looks like it's a mishmash of parts. Missing a little bit more trim than the other one. 326 car. Automatic. And then a K5 Blazer frame. The old Rancho shocks on her. But I think this is a, I think it's a 76 they said. So 73 to 87 square body style. There's a pile of Tri-5 parts on the trailer. And they're all in totes, so. Let's see how it goes. Eighty-five dollars. Fire number one. Thirteen buys that. That's Pontiac Railroad, right here. What do you give on that? How many dollars there? Twenty-five on that. Five seven and a half. Sold at five dollars. Fourteen. Fourteen buys that. You got a bench seat there? Yeah. Uh, not sure what it fit. Twenty-five dollars. Thirty-one. All right. I think this is a big ticket item. Here we go. Sold 38k. All you need is like a 1987 Kawasaki jet ski to go behind it. Wood pins? Dang. That a boy. You got this. Split it. Come on, split it. Oh jeez. This guy's got a pair on him. He's making her happen. 425. Well, we have, we have 4250, 43. 43, Dave. It was his idea, though. <laughs> <laughs> 47. Yeah, yeah. Right. Walk away. Walk <laughs> away. <laughs> it's really nice, is this? But it's a four wheel drive S10 convertible. Yeah, that's real. You don't ever see a four wheel drive. Uh oh, oh, he's going back. Well, the good news is you made him about a thousand bucks, so you're a gentleman and a scholar for that. And you're a good sport, so that's all that matters. <laughs> Ten years from now, you'd be like, 
these things are gonna be going for you know 100 grand at Barrett Jackson and you're gonna be like I'd rather take that home than that I always call them crew cab four-wheel drive El Caminos the mullet comes factory yeah. the, the awesome part about him is that tailgates and if they seal up you know how you get like a tunnel cover and they get full of dust these things yeah he literally didn't even look at it took one peek under and saw the rockers is like i want that you know you took that thing home and you put a bumper on it and doctored up a couple little things and, and put it on a lot you could you find the right guy but you gotta find it's like that thing you gotta find the right guy Hey, if you get paid, that's all that matters. There's worse jobs out there. You could be cleaning a toilet at the the 7-Eleven right now. Well, the chassis, the money probably is. Well, I, depending on what the for that perimeter, well, it's probably a thousand dollar nine inch rear end. You, you know, so. That's a gorgeous grill. There again, all the sheet metal on this thing is just rock solid. What if you took a weekend and just tacked it all together and threw it on Facebook Marketplace for two grand? Because that that drop that drop axles worth two three hundred bucks. It's got it's disc spin. There's disc spindles. Those spindles are worth a hundred and a half, and then the brakes are worth. Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it. No balls. No balls. No balls. No balls. <laughs> Look at how efficient this guy is. He just propped the sign up. Atta boy. <laughs> Oh, I would. I think they're like 63.4 in power. So I mean the seats are worth a third of what he's asking. They're the wrong seats. Uh, 38. Paying nine. <laughs> Online. I think it was 8,100. Is that what it was? 81. 81. Oh, you said 89. 89 with the, yeah, 10%. Yep. Yeah. I heard online. Sold at 1,700. We're going to put that on by 13. Right here on the Pontiac, Tempest right here. Right here, what are we going to do on this one? Let's just go to work online. Right here, I got 550, 600 now. 1,700. Sold it. $1,650, Tilt mine trailer, kind of a home built jobby, but it's pretty sweet. It's a lot of trailer for 900 bucks. Trailer hooks axles. Winch tilt. I was gonna say it had a steel floor, but oh, it's open center. Worn winch. Yeah, we must have timed it just. I'm like, hey, I didn't even touch it. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, right. You're just saying that to make me feel good.
All right, let's get this thing shoved on the trailer. The gentleman who bought the property had that swanky uh, four-wheeler. He was nice enough to uh, drag her out here. I gave him a few bucks for his time. He didn't want to take it. And I said, it's a case of beer. So it's on me, it saved me a hassle and it saved me from tearing up his yard. So that was nice. Now I'm gonna back this hog up to it and winch her on. Should be easy peasy provided the winch works and the battery's charged up and everything else, you know, electrical on a trailer life. All right, we're tied down, loaded for bear. Uh, the windshield in this thing, I noticed was just set in place, so I threw it in the back seat of the pickup. I bought a couple other parts about us. We'll show you when we get home. But anyway, they're still going. They're taking forever. Got a bunch of snap-on tools, and they're just begging for a dollar here and there. So I figured, let's get that thing tied down. And there's a few other parts in that uh, shed I want to go back and see. And then there's some body parts outside, some, uh, Chevelle quarter panels and odds and ends, and we still got to square up. So, auction started at four. She's uh, 7.40 now, and uh, we're gonna be here for a while. They keep begging for a dollar on that stuff inside the building. Man, I'm out of shape. Check that Ram 50 out, extended cab. Whew. Custom Omaha orange paint job. Here's a 62 four-door post. A lot of cool stuff in this uh, trailer park here. There's a 64 gold Chevy station wagon as well. Look at that. Is that a Lincoln or, or a Packard Clipper? I'm saying, uh, I'm saying Lincoln. Cool car, two-tone. Jorgensen's got the uh, Bronco, so that'll be for sale. The K5 Blazer went to online. The guy that I was talking to, he bought the 57 and both the Pontiacs. Uh, I think he got one of those Dodges too, and Jorgensen got the other two Dodges. So and then I talked to the guy who got the Pontiac. The only guy I didn't talk to was whoever got the. Oh, uh, Randy at Al Salvage got the Firebird. I didn't know who got that rolling chassis and who got that uh, Model A Sport Coupe. A lot of nice guys here. Good time. What, do you, what can you tell me about that Ultimate? You know? I bought it out in North Dakota and uh, they did the frame on it and they lost interest in it. And so did you apparently. Huh? And yeah. so did you. No, I didn't. So you, you, yeah, just, it, you just kind of got it as is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was chaining it down. I was like, oh, shit, it's got nice black paint under here. Yeah. Yeah, he had it. That's that whole group there, Dave, is that right? Yep. Now somebody wants something out of there by itself. The whole group there in front of me, who's got 25 on that? You would know. That's what it is. That's what it is. Well, we got it. This is off of a 57. This X is off of a 57 Chevy convertible. Yeah. Okay. Just the X here. Guys. What is it, Chuck? We got it off of something. It's an X, X brand name. 57 Chevy convertible. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. He has a call. So. I'll, bid you, I'll bid you guys to the moon, and then and then you guys take it, and then he's like, oh, I don't want those. Yeah. Then I would have to sit there and try to advertise them on marketplace and deal with the people. I don't want to deal with all that other shit. 
I don't know if I want to even deal with them. <laughs> Boy, Marty, you in? Yeah, you in. You own it. And two fifty, bring two fifty. Anybody else? Two fifty. Something over here at two twenty-five. All right, we are strapped down and ready to hit the road. Check this pile out. Got some new old stock, well, reproduction, 6872 Chevelle and El Camino inner fenders. A pile of F body and other grill shells. We got the windshield for that car in here. Those uh, tail pans for F bodies. 64.5 Chevelle quarter panels, 64.5 bumpers, uh, 68.9 Chevelle inner structures. There's that uh, posi diff is in there. There's some door panels, steps for like 55 to 64 Chevy pickups, six cylinder Chevy intake. They sold them all in like lots. So you, you just bought the whole pallet. Yeah, it was a mess. <laughs> Quarter panels for uh, El Camino, 7072 El Camino. Bench seat for 7072 El Camino. And then a couple of totes of Tri-5 stuff. Oh, and a 55 Chevy convertible X-Frame. We're gonna get on the road. I'll, uh, Get this sorted out tomorrow. Take a look at what we got. But we're running out of daylight and we got a two hour drive home. And I need supper. We are back from the Jess Anderson auction and uh, we came out pretty well. Uh, I spent not that much money. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll put it out there. I spent a little over 2,000 bucks and 1650 of it was that car. So 400 bucks for all the parts we got and uh, we got some pretty good stuff. I had about a cardboard bundle about this big of boxes that got wet because it rained, that was trash, and then a handful of stuff I threw in the scrap, like a original master cylinder and a few other pieces of hardware and stuff, but it's otherwise it's all pretty good stuff. A lot of this stuff is gonna be for sale. So what we're trying to do is, uh, I don't know if we're gonna try selling on eBay or set up a store or what, but I need to get rid of some stuff that I'm never ever gonna use. Uh, we did the swap meet last year, I think it would be really sweet to uh, fill the enclosed trailer with stuff like this. Right now we got it in another van. And uh, pull a trailer behind this thing, enclosed trailer, a bunch of stuff, and then maybe put a project car or some other parts and stuff on the back of this thing and bonsai to uh, swap me. Like tomorrow is Back to the 50s swap meet. So as you can tell, I'm not a Back to the 50s. I'm working. I hope I never go back to that show. I'd go back to the swap meet, but the show, just don't do it for me. Let's take a look at what I got. So... Got some stock small block fans, not a big deal. We got a million of them. Cool uh, brand new chrome breather. This guy is plastic. That is a pretty neat wall hanger. Hopefully never use it. Some uh, pretty decent looking 30 over small block pistons. Maybe they're 40. That one says 40, I don't know. Let's clean them up, see if they're usable. This was kind of a big ticket item for me. It's an aluminum flywheel. Looks like it's a wheel cap. Torrance, California, part number 2014. Mike Qualley, he's pretty sharp with this stuff. He, he didn't think it was small block Chevy, so maybe it's Pontiac, because there's a lot of Pontiac stuff there. This is the air cleaner, I believe it's off the six cylinder, or maybe a two barrel for the uh, El Camino. It was in the El Camino. Here's a bunch of random crap I gotta sort through. Like there's some suspension brackets, uh, Stuart Warner oil pressure gauge. There's some trim clips. Um, Mallory distributor cap, a bunch of wire harnesses for like power windows or something, aftermarket stuff, and then a whole pile of these screw in ball joints, which I assume for the Mustang too, but I got one of the Mustang 2 guys number, so maybe I'll get a hold of him and see if he needs these. There's the Posi, we gotta figure out what that is. Uh, it's 55 to 64 GM. I think I paid 200 bucks for the pallet with that and that and there was some other stuff but this is worth what we paid right there small block chevy starter you know we're always going through those and a flex plate a bunch of valley tin i don't know i didn't want to leave it and we'll use it for something eight inch chevy rally caps these things are becoming gold anymore and they're pretty good shape uh 25 bucks i paid for those transmission cross member there's a pedal assembly both manual and automatic for i believe f bodies just a pile of F-body stuff on that side, we'll get to it. Here's a couple of tail fins, I guess I call them off Trans Ams, Firebirds, Camaros. This, I'm not sure, it's maybe a trim. I'm not an F-body guy, but I end up with F-body stuff. This looks like all 
pretty much tri five stuff you know, not these bumper guards but new old stock 57 chevy marker lights um these vacuum canisters i gotta look up what they are i should probably know i'm guessing they're for the vacuum wipers maybe i don't know square uh aftermarket or not an app well yeah gm accessory i should call it tissue dispenser kind of neat uh chrome speaker cover there's some door handles some latches a bunch of mirrors gas pedals surrounds all oh, this was kind of an item that i wanted it's a uh, spotlights and mirror combination i think it's for like a 53 54 but we'll have to look 56 tail lights 55 tail lights 57 tail lights if you were wondering the difference there they all are 55 is the smallest i'd say 56 is the biggest and then uh well 57 is right in the middle they all got a different shape some bumperettes, bumper guards, whatever you want to call them for, I think they are for all the tri-fives, but maybe they're five or six. Rears and fronts, they're in rough shape. They'll fill a hole. Uh, Mike Qualley said that, I think that goes around the steering column. I think he said these are for like a 55 Chevy two-door with their door panels or what they are. Some of this stuff, I don't know what it is. I'm guessing these, they say 64. I'm guessing these are for like one of those Tempest. Nine inch loaded rear backing plates. I'm guessing that's a Tempest grill shell. Uh, I know a guy who knows the guy who bought that stuff, so maybe we can get a hold of him and get a few bucks out of this stuff. These are like door spreaders for a 57 Chevy convertible for when you put it on a rotisserie. These are the front mounts and then the kick downs for like a Chevy 2, like a 62 to 67 Chevy 2. I don't know, for like straight axle gasser type deal. It's got the notch for the frame there, and I think that bolted as the frame rail, and then those are the kickers. I don't know. Not sure what that bumper is, but I'm guessing it goes to the same car that these bumper guards. Maybe it's for the El Camino. Could be. And then they just put add-on bumper guards. That's probably what it is. Because, yes, that is the same license plate number. And it says truck, you know, because uh, El Caminos are trucks. I think that's the front for the El Camino. Square body Chevy tailgate. 50 bucks. New old stock. Couldn't believe it. Don't need it. It'll fill a hole somewhere or hang it on the wall or... We'll sell and get a few bucks 70 to 72 monte carlo quarter panels they just used that piece on each one but anyway couldn't throw them away i got these two sets of quarters and uh chevy x-ray will show you for like 40 bucks so these are quarters off a 64 5 chevelle i thought maybe they would work on the el camino or it could use pieces like i said it was 40 bucks turns out they're entirely well not entirely different but they're different and then here's this lower patch panel for the same deal chevelle uh, a couple headlight surrounds and trim, two grills, and another pair of bumpers. I don't know if car bumpers are the same. I doubt it. Seems like El Caminos and wagons had different bumpers. So the guy said that these were Chevelle, and hopefully we can make it work. Or they're the same, but probably not. And then I knew that car. I looked in there and I didn't remember seeing a cluster. So another pallet was like ten bucks. I got the cluster that we need. There's another floor support for those cars. Front plastic, brand new, old stock inner fender, 68 to 72 Chevelle. Uh, bumper or uh, steps for fenders, on the step side, 55 to 64 Chevy pickup. 68, nine Chevelle inner wheel houses. Uh, six cylinder intake manifold and carburetor. I don't, I think it's probably a 230, 250. Uh, we'll steal the carburetor and probably throw the rest. A 68, nine Chevelle. Malibu header panel. I think this is first gen Firebird Camaro, but I'm not sure. Maybe it's 70 to 73 Camaro, something like that. And this is all kind of F body stuff over here. I think that's the uh, hood latch or hood support. Uh, there's a bunch of window regulator stuff, some interior trim pieces, all kinds of marker lights. There's the early ones and lenses, and then the later ones end lenses and then a bunch of other mirrors the plugs for the floor some side marker lights ac vent steering wheel cover for trans am just all kinds of f body stuff interior stuff i don't know how many dashes there are one two three four five six seven at least seven dashes this one's for uh try your firebird or trans am uh, some of them are wood grain some of them are the engine turned, whatever. These were the coolest. Where's, there's a radial tuned suspension one in there somewhere. Anyway, 
those are cool. Lower door panels for the same thing. Tail lights, uh, the early, I think these are Camaro. Like I said, there's that four speed pedal setup. That was on a pallet that I really want. I think again, 10 bucks for the pallet. And then the Z bar, if I ever did want a four speed swap one, I'd have a good start. Seat trim, uh, the later tail lights, or no, I think that's later Firebird Trans Am tail lights. Uh, these are the earlier ones. I think these are dated 73. These are dated 70. These are dated 75. Uh, the rear trim that goes with that valance on the back. Uh, wheel trim, wheel housing trims. Uh, seat back or lower seat covers, I think. Ashtray type compartment. I think that goes right on the top of your console. Uh, Camaro dash. I think that's Trans Am. Fender vent, a couple of headlight buckets, a whole bunch of glove box doors. Yeah, all kinds of F-body parts. I don't need any of these. Like I said, I might keep the four-speed setup, but I'd probably sell it because I don't see myself swapping one of these cars to a four-speed. Because I don't really like second-gen F-bodies. They just keep following me home because they're, they're cheap. So a lot of that stuff's going to go on the swap meet setup. Yeah, all the Chevelle stuff in there. Uh, probably the Chevelle stuff I don't use. Obviously, the Monte Carlo quarters can go. Yeah, a lot of that stuff is going to be in the swap meet bin. So, I think we'll just have to do an entire little video on this Chevelle. But, came with bucket seats. I don't think these are the right bucket seats. I think they're a 65.6 Chevy car. Well, like, this is a 4. I guess uh, ICC Ryan says that 62 to 64 is fold at an angle, and these fold straight. So I think they're 65, 66. I don't know if they are 65, 6 Chevelle or big car. If they're all the same, they're probably all the same. But anyway, yeah. This car's had a little work done down here. She's got some mud in there. Uh, the HVAC box has been all blasted and painted. Brand new heater core. Brand new blower motor. No squirrel cage. It did come with a cluster, and looks like there's a harness in there. But it didn't come with the surround, so I bought the surround separate. Drive shaft, uh, tranny cross The whole bottom of this car is all painted and looks like it's all new bushings and brakes. So, yeah, pretty good start. Uh, radio, it looks like he snagged a mirror off another car. Armrest. There's a bunch of other interior parts in there and some brake parts and the old heater core and wire harnesses and the wiper motor. Interior trim, A pillar trim, I think. Um, visors, the tail light that we're missing, or maybe it's a second, right? Ooh, this one doesn't have the backup light. Maybe it's out of a station wagon. Who knows? There's a bunch of trim here, heater controls. Look at all these uh, sill plates. One, two, three, four and a half sets of sill plates. Just wild. He was snagging up everyone we could. 70 to 72 Monte Carlo bench seat. He said it should fit Chevelle's as well. I don't know. I'll take his word for it. But he said he converted his car to buckets. Pretty nice seat. Paid 25 bucks for it. That was the starting bid. I'm like, yeah, I'll get it rolling. Nobody bid against me. So that might go in that car, actually, because I don't know. Now that I know that those are the fat, maybe the factory buckets, maybe we'll leave it. But we'll find a home for that or sell it. Factory seats, especially two-door seats, are good property. This came with those quarter panels for 40 bucks this is a cross member the center cross member for a 57 chevy convertible i would imagine to the right guy that's quite valuable it's convertible only um i don't know if it's 57 only but should fit all tri fives i think i don't know a ton about tri fives there's some weirdo in canada that's into them but anyway i would think to the right person we should be able to get a good chunk of our money back right there and like i said it was 40 bucks with some other stuff and i couldn't leave it there even though it was super heavy shout out to the guys that helped me load up and drag my stuff out of there back to the uh el camino she's got a whammy in the tailgate like they all do um the rear bumper's not on it so hopefully that other bumper we got will fit she's been wiped out in the corner here pretty good but they got a malibu quarter off of a station wagon you can see where the what was that rear pillar was so hopefully we can graft that and that and uh, maybe make something of it. But also look what I found in there. Somebody cut this off of probably another sedan or station wagon. That's the piece we need right there to fix that little bit of rust. And I don't know where that's from. I couldn't find, but it's probably from that little bit of rust right there, I would imagine. Went through the work to cut that out. I'm not sure if we got all that trim, but there, there is some bigger trim there. Yeah, it looks like we got 
two of them. And then the two shorter ones must be, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know a ton about these cars. Also, it was a three speed on the tree, six cylinder car. There's the stock column, three on the tree. I think it's got 15 inch wheels all the way around, which four and three quarter 15 inch steel wheels are freaking hard to find anymore for me. So that right there is hundred ish bucks. They put new floors in. Uh, not only can you tell by the paint, but you can tell there's a seam right there. And it goes all the way up there. But anyway, see where they taped it off and painted it. Uh, door panel should clean up. Like I said, that armrest is back there. The windows in here won't go up. There's a bunch of tape on the wing windows, so I don't know what's going on there. Like I said, cluster's missing. Um, three pedal car. Pedals have been painted, so maybe they've been rebuilt. Aftermarket, tilt column. It's uh, not a... There's no shifter on it, so either got to buy a different column or convert to automatic or manual floor shift. I don't know what their plan was. <clears throat> Oh, so it's kind of the story, the background on this. I found some stuff that said uh, Arch on it and called my buddy whose dad's name was Arch. And he said, yeah, that's that's our old car. He said, how'd you end up with it? I give him the backstory. He said, yeah, my dad did most of the work. As you see, I always wondered up where it went. He said it had 60, the right buckets. So those that's where I'm thinking the right buckets come from. And it's pretty much how his dad had left it. The early iron rodders. Beulah, North Dakota. And uh, he confirmed that it was a six-cylinder car. Yeah, that's definitely not the right mirror. But she's not too terrible. The dog legs are good. Obviously, it's been repainted. The rockers are pretty solid. Like I said, it's got a little bit of rust here, but that's what that stuff's for. Um, there is that lower quarter over there, which I think he made work from a sedan onto this. Uh, this trim always gets just annihilated on these cars because they're a pickup that or they're a car that gets used like a pickup So don't put this trim up here because it just gets beat to crap floor is pretty solid left cleaner all out I want to pressure wash the inside. Oh, yeah, he said his dad fixed that rust around the windshield Looks like he did a pretty good job and that's why the windshield's out and he uh, primed her all up nice and you can see he marked where all the clips would go so Shouldn't be too bad to put it back together. I think just putting the trim on and uh, getting the glass in it, put some decent wheels and tires would really clean this thing up, get the bumpers on it, set the interior all together, maybe uh, buy a carpet for it. This thing look really good. I kind of like the 65s better, but whatever. We're into it pretty cheap. There you can see the frame all blasted, new shocks, new tie rod ends, new bushings, new uh, sway bar end links. Still drum brakes, no discs. Uh, looks like still manual steering. All that good stuff. So yeah, we uh, made a pretty good haul at the Jess Anderson auction. It sounds like his parents lived there and he was storing all this stuff and he's got a body shop and he didn't have room for it. So uh, he had to get rid of all this stuff and unfortunately kind of got Prices, I don't know if, if the markets dropped off or the wrong people weren't there. It was that a Tuesday in the afternoon? He, he you know, he could have done a better job of presenting these cars and got auctioneers that were more into cars, but prices were cheap. You guys saw um, that restored car went okay, but I think what it would go for like $36,000. That's a lot of car for that. That 57 Chevy for 2400 bucks was a steal. I had a $1,500 floor in it. I'm kicking myself for not buying that Pontiac because that was a super solid car great start and there again i think if you bolted the running boards on it uh and lowered it and dropped a small black chevy and even just mocked it up didn't even have to have the steering or nothing hooked up i think you get good money for that car all the wood had been replaced really nice chop job shaved door handles that was a pretty good deal um the k5 blazer and the bronco i thought went crazy high for what they were the the bronco was a piece of crap and uh that guy's gonna flip it and uh the military stuff went pretty reasonable. The two Pontiacs, the Tempest or the Lalons or whatever, they went pretty reasonable. Uh, that that Blazer was, or Jimmy, I think it was a Jimmy. Anyway, went, went for 8100 bucks online, so plus 10% buyer's premium. So that guy paid 8900 bucks, and that thing was, it was a good start, but it was, it needed a lot of work. So there you have it. We are going to have a bunch of parts to... Uh, drag to a swap meet or better yet somebody just come by all the f-body stuff and a little bit of chevelle stuff we got 
and uh, we'll go from there. So thank you very much for watching. Check out our other videos. Uh, it's people watching stuff like this that allows us to go make content like this and buy stupid things that we don't need. But I'm thinking maybe we just grab a small block and automatic and uh, drop in that thing and maybe throw some exhaust and wheels and tires and just on a budget. We'll see. Nothing is budget anymore, but I know we could just clean that car up and like I said, put wheels, tires, put the bumpers on it, the trim, uh, set the interior together, get the steering hooked up. Just some piddly things and I think you could get a pretty good premium out of that car because the freaking Chevelles are rusty and the it seems like the El Caminos are even rustier and more beat up. So I think that was a, a pretty good deal for the day. I think everybody was sleeping on that one too. But. All right. Again, thank you guys so much. Uh, wouldn't be able to do this without you. So thank you very much for watching. Check out our videos. Go check out that uh, Mortski merch. We got all kinds of things. We got koozies. We got uh, America caps. We got coolers. We got banners. We got magnetic screwdrivers. We got scrapers. You name it. We got it. If we don't got it, you don't need it. All right. Remember, it doesn't matter. Get it done. As long as you're having fun. On to the next one. Duff didn't want to listen to me talk about junk.